Wow, I can't believe it's been a week. It's been a week since I've been inside this studio. I've been out camping. I get the opportunity to take the RV out, put it inside a park, and it's like, ah. Oh. And you just take life easy. You don't want to be seen. You just, you just want to just be in the presence of whatever's available in that moment of now and just take it all in. I mean, being available, seen and not invisible, but that comes with not only a responsibility, but there must be accountability, which is hard work in a society designed to stand up on its own or be defeated by wannabe decision makers seeking notice. You reach a certain age in your life where you just want to say, Hey, uh, um, I've been where you are. Let me go ahead and share with you how it's probably going to play out. I, I want to save you some heart space is what I want to do, okay? I, I mean, I make it a point to be available, but not in a place of acceptable abuse. That's when you say yes once and find yourself doing the same expectation over and over again. And then they say, but you did it once before. In fact, I think it was 15 times before. Yeah. Being seen, being heard, being available, and not invisible. Big chance you want to be liked by everyone. Crossing that line that puts you in less of a popularity contest and more about just getting the damn job done. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. We all have a daily mess. What you go through daily will probably be very good for me. You, you probably hold on to answers I've been seeking my entire life. It's a mess. But yet we keep putting on. We keep putting ourselves out there. As I was telling somebody yesterday, I don't walk. No, my 15,000 steps a day is just me trying to catch my balance. <laughs> this is the daily mess. You know, it's extremely hard to believe that a couple of months ago, millions and millions of people were very vocal about Russia invading Ukraine. Rarely, rarely today, on this day, which is July 15, 2022, rarely do we ever see that story on the front page of a newspaper, magazines, and if you really do want to read about it, you've got to scroll all the way through it. Yeah, see, the thing is, we, we are bombarded every day by spam phone calls that are telling us that the warranty on our vehicle is over, or we can lower your college payments, your loan. But once it's off the headlines, the front page of the newspaper, or at the top of CNN or Fox, nobody's talking about it. We've designed this present day path to be 100% out of sight, out of mind. See, I think I'm finally starting to see and truly understand why my mother never really wanted to talk about the experiences that brought her here. With endless amounts of all things hitting us all at once, the past is pushed out of its normal growing place. We really don't appreciate the process. We expect the progress, though, but we don't appreciate the process. By the way, Ukraine and Russia... That war is still on. Dun, 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 dun. First of all, I can't believe that it's already July 15th, 2022, and that the COVID-19 is still blazing forward. In fact, it, it, it's amazing. The BA.5, it's all over the headlines right now. And, and they say in the headlines, they've been warning us about this for several months. Where? On, on page six? It's somewhere in the middle of CNN and Fox, but it's here. I have a lot of co-workers that have got it. Time flies by so quickly, and yet we expect people to remember things. I'm, I'm very guilty of this. My wife will say, we just talked about this yesterday, and I'm going, ah. ah. And I remember those days when I would sit with, with my mom, and, and I would say, tell me about my real father. Son, I don't remember. I don't remember. Mom, what, what was it like when, when, when we lived at Nine Adams in Billings, Montana? Because I, I really want to know how I became the teenager I was who grew into a pair of adult shoes. I, son, 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 I don't remember. And now that I've touched 6-0, I have a respect for my mother. Because if I didn't daily write, if I didn't put my daily mess inside these journals every day, I wouldn't remember. In fact, I could go over here to these boxes, these really cool weatherized boxes full of 28 years of daily writing, 
and be shocked at what is put on those pages because all he ever wanted to do as a writer was to have answers for those who would come up to him one day and say, so what was it like? It, wait, 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 what, what time period is this? Um, December 1997. Give me 30 minutes. Let me get in these boxes and I'll tell you exactly what it was like. Wow. Your daily mess. What are you doing with yours? Or are you facing the curtain that I do? Or the mountain? What do you, whatever you want to call it. The beast. The monster. What, what is it that you're facing when someone says, So, do you remember when we went up to the mountains and, and we camped with that family? Do you remember what that family's name is? Because I want to see if they're on Facebook. Ah, did we eat apple pie that day? I don't know. Did we go motorcycle riding? Ah, your daily mess becomes everybody else's mess. And now let's try to fix it. Because when people come up to us just needing a, a, a smidget, a smidget of an answer, let's give it to them. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.